and Molly. Nice to meet so you. So nice to meet you too. Right. Welcome. Great to be here. I love this colonial style house. Right? Thank you. We've, it's really cool. Thank you. We've been here for about eight years, but yeah. wait until you see the kitchen, the kitchen. which is this Let's way. Go. All right. This is the original kitchen from 1960. Wow. Looks like we're back to the future. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this color. It's really cool. I, know. I awesome. love it. Love it. <laughs> All right. So it's in great shape in general, but we do have these spots right here that we could use an expert to help us repair. Okay. This is not a problem. We can fix that easily. Great. Um, the challenge here for us is to match this color here. Okay. I already see two different colors, maybe three, but this is the one we have to match. Okay. All right. I have a couple of Fendex that has tons of colors here. Yeah. First thing we do, let's see, it's still dark there. Let's see this one here. This is a little too dark, don't you think? Yes. A little too light. Yep. The one in the middle looks very close to what we need. It does. Okay. When you go like that, we can see the color better. Yeah, looks like we're missing a drop of... Um, Maybe even orange. A little drop of orange plus a little bit of red. I think we're going to get really close. Looks really the, close. To the color we need. All Looks right. right. Mm -hmm. All right. But since this is not our color yet, I'm going to have to go to the store. And there they have a color scanner. It's connect with the computer. And the computer will give us like two or three different colors. And we can choose the best one. Okay. Um, but I need a piece of this cabinet that I can take with me. Okay. You have a piece for me? I do. I think there's a shelf actually that comes out All right. over what here. Is it? So in here. Great. Oh, this yeah, is perfect. I think that comes and it's right big out. enough. Oh, good. Can I take that, right? Sure. All right. Let's take this out of here. All right. I'll take it out of the store. I'll match it okay. and I'll come back. Thank right. you so much. We'll see in a little bit. Okie doke. Hi, Mauro. Hello, Welcome back. I'm back. Great. Okay. You want to hold this paint can? Sure. That's the color. Great. All right. I have three different samples to match it on here. Okay. First one, oh, not good at all. Mm -hmm. Then I have two others that I put on this shelf. Okay. I want you to find them in here if you can see it. Okay. Um, gosh. Right? Is that it? That's one of them. But it's not the perfect one yet. Wow, that looks so close. Um, Look well. There? That's the one. See, if I turn in a little angle like this, you'll see it more. Oh, yeah. It looks like a perfect match. You ready? We I have some prep work to do and okay. some painting. Okay, sounds great. It. Thank yeah. you. Okay, Molly. Okay. First step of the preparation, we're going to use this detergent. Okay. We're going to degrease the door. Okay. okay. I'm Great. I'm going to spray a little bit like that mm -hmm. on the rag. Okay. Yep. And then okay. we just go like this. Okay. This way we're going to take any fingerprints or a little grease mm -hmm. or oil or anything. How's it feel, Clint? It feels really good. Feel nice. Look at that. Let's take about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Then we're going to do step two of the preparation. Molly, take out this plastic and tape in one. So cool That's and really easy cool. to use. Okay. Let me show you how we do it. I'm going to unload it a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put my tape right in there. Yep. And what I want you to do, grab this, the dispenser, okay. yep. and go very close at the edge, yep. the bottom edge of the cabinet, like that. Press yep. it along. One, yeah, okay. keep going. Yeah. Yep. All right. Higher, sorry. And higher, a little bit higher. <laughs> yeah. That's good. All right, all the way down. Oh, look good. Look okay. Good. At the end, use the cutter to yep. cut the plastic. Just rip it right off. Just nice. Like that. All right. Right. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna unfold it just like that. Just get at the bottom. Oh, that is cool. Right. Look at that. Wow. We're gonna do at the edge of this door. I'm gonna press okay. this tape right at the top of the door. I okay. wanted to hold that. Yep. And I wanted to go all the way down at the bottom. At the same time, line up the tape with the cabinet. Yep. Okay. Okay. Then I wanted to cut. Just go like, yep, just go like that. All okay. we need is this. Great. But we open up a little bit okay. more. Just like that. Great. And then we'll press. We press down. Go make sure you get a straight, clean line. Right okay. There, right? Yep. And all right. then unfold. Unfold. All right. Look at this. Great. 
Now we're gonna give a light sanding okay. with the 220 grit paper. We just wanna break the edges a little bit. So when we paint it, it'll be nice and smooth. Well, let's hit those two spots with the metal primer. Okay. Just like this. Nice and easy, all right. That's good. Okay. It's fast. Now I want you to do that one at. All right. Yeah, just press that down. Yeah, just nice and easy. Yeah. It's going to take about 30 minutes for this primer to dry. Okay. Then we'll come back. Now we're going to send the cabinets with 180 grit sandpaper. Just to kind of score the surface a little bit, okay? okay. You can turn the sanding pad too if it makes okay. it easy for you. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. Keep going or? Keep going, keep okay. going. Now we're gonna just wipe that off with the rag again. Okay. Cool. Good. That's it. This look really nice. So what we're using here, it called DTM. It's three letters. It stands for direct tomato. Okay. Just dip your roll in there. Okay. Don't load it so much paint into it because we're gonna do it like multiple times, okay? Okay. Don't start at the bottom, very okay. bottom. Start like about three to four inches up and then you come right down with the roll and you fill the gaps. Okay, All so right? start in here. Yeah, we try to avoid dripping paint. So you start like about four inches, mm -hmm. you unload the paint and then you come right down and you notice there's no dripping paint down below. Yeah. Overlap by 50% by each okay. pass with the roller. So, yep. like here. Yep, right there. Okay. And not only we match the color perfect, and we also match the same finish. It's like 1960 again in here. Wow, well, look at that. Bobby, you're a pro. <laughs> you ready to hire me? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I want you to do the edges, okay? Okay. Bottom first, and then the side. All right, cool. Okay, go right down, go up and down again. We're gonna wait about two to three hours for this to dry. Okay. Come back, yep. and we'll do the same thing. Okay. What do you think? It's perfect, I can't believe it. So we got the color matching perfect and we also got the finish done right, right? It's great, thank right, you. cool. I'm gonna leave the painting can. Uh, in future, if you need to do any more painting or touch-ups, okay. you have that there. And then if you need more paint, there's a formula on that can. Don't lose that, okay? okay? If you do any large project in this kitchen, just bring that form into the store. They will do another painting can exactly the same color as you need. Perfect. If you have any question about your house, I would love to hear about it. Until next time, I'm Mara Henrique for Ask This Whole House. Thanks for watching. This Whole House has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.